Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS Appeals revises initial contact letters as part of effort to enhance the taxpayer experience. Improve the initial contact letter from the IRS. Honestly, it's like a thief trying to improve his introduction before stealing your money. We're going to make that initial contact letter so nice, says the IRS. You'll love it when we take your money. It'll be like sweet poetry in that initial contact letter. Dear taxpayer, how do we love thee? Let me count the ways. And then, when we're done counting, we'll sum up the total so you can send us a check. But first, an attempt at a joke. President Biden dealing with the economy is like a moron calling 911. Sorry, sir. Doing my best. Who made that man a gunner? I did, sir. Biden calls in and says, I found a bloody man on the ground. The economy? I think he's dead. Is he dead? Is he finally dead? Can I go free? Or maybe it's a her. No, he's a woman now. I mean, I'm not even sure if there's a difference anymore, but in any case, what should I do, 911? What should I do? Biden is told by 911 to first put the phone down and make sure he, the economy, is really dead. Is he dead? It's hard to say. Biden puts the phone down and the receptionist hears a series of thuds. Oh, I, I can't make out a heartbeat. Biden gets back on the phone explaining, I saw the man, the economy, move just a little bit. No, look, he's breathing. So, I whacked him on the head with a baseball bat, repeatedly. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole, major asshole. However, just when I thought I had finally killed him, the economy, like you asked, a stranger who calls himself the Federal Reserve kept resuscitating the man back to life. I mean, what should I do, 911? Should I kill the Federal Reserve dude too? So like, I could really make sure he, the economy, is totally dead? How many assholes we got on this ship anyhow? Yo! I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. IR 2022-170, October 4th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service Independent Office of Appeals is taking important steps to improve how taxpayers interact and communicate with the IRS by revising their initial contact letters. Quote, Appeals resolves federal tax disputes without litigation in a way that is fair and impartial to taxpayers and the government, end quote, said April Adams Johnson, the senior level advisor to the chief of appeals and appeals first taxpayer experience officer. Quite the title right there, quote, typically at the start of the process, the appeals officer assigned the case sends a letter with some introductory information and invites the taxpayer or their representative to a conference. We want this letter to be clear and easy to understand for all taxpayers, end quote. Appeals has made two key revisions to these initial contact letters in response to feedback from taxpayers and practitioners. First, the revised initial contact letter will, clear, will clarify that generally taxpayers and representatives can choose how they meet with appeals through conference that can be held by telephone, video, or in person. In addition, appeals can work with taxpayers and representatives through the mail or secure electronic messaging. Appeals employees can successfully resolve disputes in every type of conference and the type of conference does not impact appeals decision. Second, in addition to the appeals officer's contact information, the initial contact letter will now provide the name and phone number of the appeals officer's manager, while the appeals officer remains the primary contact for all their assigned cases. The addition of the manager's contact information will ensure an appeal stays on track in the in the rare instance additional help is needed. 
going forward, taxpayers and representatives will see the new language providing manager contact information and clarifying conference choice and the initial contact letters sent for most cases received in appeals, including cases related to an IRS examination determination, penalties, an offer and compromise, a request for a collection due process hearing or participation in IRS e-file. Quote, we recognize that improving the taxpayer experience is a continuing process, end quote, said Adam Johnson, quote, appeals welcomes comments and additional ways we can help create a more positive experience for taxpayers and representatives whether through revisions to our communications or through other process improvements end quote individuals may submit their comments to there's a place you can there's an email address here and you can send that in by december 2nd 2022 so there'll be a links to this in the description you got links to whatever was linked here not too many links here but you got this email address if you want to take a look at that and there'll be a link to this in the description